Hello and welcome to the first ever episode of Surfing the Portal here on Pinecone Utopia channel. The reason that we're going to do this. Hello and welcome to the first ever ah. episode of Surfing the Portal here on Pinecone Utopia channel. All right, the reason that that happened was because we're trying to do the chat room, which is a real important component of this uh, type of broadcast. So we're trying to get the uh, chat room coordinated so I can, we can take questions off the chat room. But anyway, the reason that I wanted to do this broadcast, and we're going to try to do it weekly on Sunday nights, probably won't happen next weekend because we've got some uh, illnesses in the family. But after that, I'd like to be able to go on Sunday night and talk about uh, the results we're having uh, on our open source investigation into various things that, that can help TIs. And I'm going to start calling selected individual because I think that they're, uh, they might have been selected for, for a very good reason and it would be very complimentary if they knew. So, I'll explain that later as we go. Not tonight, probably. All right, what I'd like to do is tell you a little bit about uh, what we're doing here, why we've established this portal, and what I'm expecting from it. Uh, my name's Paul Marco, and uh, I've been very interested in uh, the uh, targeted individual situation, the gang stalking, the energy weapons, and all that ever since I was introduced to it by a very good friend, Eric Karlstrom. And Eric, uh, being a target individual himself, felt like he wanted to investigate it further. He's an incredible investigator and researcher. And if you're ever on Pinecone Utopia channel at YouTube, there's many interviews between myself and Eric, and they're very enlightening for the selected people. Well, anyway. So moving through that situation where I'm learning more and more, I started interviewing targeted individuals and my compassion for them grew and grew so that I absolutely had to do everything I could. So uh, well, what I did in addition to interviewing them individually, I thought if we would inter interview several targeted individuals uh, that were highly credible together, uh, it would make them more palatable to the general public. In other words, you can't not believe these, I was thinking, uh, you know, two or three, but now we have four, and we've had more than that on a program that we call Techno Crime Fighters Forum. This occurs at 11, 11 o'clock Eastern time um, on Pinecone Utopia channel on Thursdays. So, so we got them all together and uh, it was really amazing. The team worked very synergistically, uh, very harmonious, and we have very incredibly interesting podcasts. I've, I've, they blow me away every week, how interesting they are and how moving forward the situation of the TIs is. It's, it's remarkable. Uh, these people aren't victims. They're of making their way and really doing something. Well, anyway, so time passes and we get more and more information on what's really happening with the TIs. And uh, uh, Brian, too, uh, does a podcast. Now, Brian, too, uh, the way I understand it, he used to work for maybe his Department of Defense, one of those departments, and he was involved in this gang stalking program. So he knew he knew actually a lot about it. In addition, in addition to telling us why it was there and what they were trying to do with it, which is brain map um, for a hive mind, uh, different ways that you could relieve your suffering uh, by like getting out of the situation mentally or emotionally. And I've used to explain and some of the things he he talked about was going to a state of love, uh, deeply being involved in music or listening to music and appreciating music. It was kind of like putting yourself 
in a different state of consciousness. And I, and I really thought that's what it was. Well, my goodness, uh, that's my background. And, and I know a little bit about that. So, uh, you know, I can really, really be of some help here. So I'd like to find out what's being used by targeted individuals in this manner to kind of, kind of escape the matrix or the program. And the reason, the way I characterized the program was like a maze. And, uh, we're like rats in the maze. And what they're doing with the, a lot of times, now there's probably programs doing other things, but a lot of times what they're doing is they're, uh, giving stimulus to the rat, which is us in the maze, and to see which way we go. And then when we react, they can map it. They can put that data into the hive mind, into the clone person who's doing this whole thing. So, you know, the, you can, you can fight back against it. You can change your responses. And I think one of the way to change the response is to try to climb out of the maze. You know, the reason the rats run the maze in scientific experiments is because there's a pl plexiglass top over it so they can't climb out and rats believe me would have climbed right out so what i'm suggesting is that there might be things out there in the uh in the world of the targeted individual that are helping people uh through mind control uh raising your vibrations and that type of, of endeavor so you know, I know certain things that will work for, for certain. Uh, we, we have a lot of dogs here, so we'll probably be interrupted periodically um, by the excitement. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I think there might be a lot of techniques that offer, can offer a lot of relief from this kind of suffering. I know in a lot of Eastern teachings, there's uh, they focus on relief from suffering because they consider you know, your life and the world, uh, you suffer and you and you learn from your suffering. And, uh, you know, while you're learning, you don't have to suffer so horribly. Uh, so there's a lot of techniques. So we opened it up. Uh, I mentioned it on uh, the Techno Crime Fighters Forum. And immediately we got a response. We got several responses. Uh, people were using techniques that were not allowing the selected or the, the selecting agency to map their brain because they were acting unexpectedly or they were operating not out of fear which is the one that's the one thing they can really map is how when you react out of fear they know how to give you the fear so that you'll react so if you can put yourself in a state of love or contentment uh, but the first one that came in was uh, a woman who's getting considerable relief by uh, mindfulness practice. Now, mindfulness practice, I know a lot about because I, I've, I've written papers on it and uh, I it get practiced it my, myself. And what it is basically is focusing a mind on something so that it shields out everything else. It's a targeted... A mindful um, way of, of proceedings. So if if they give you uh, like street theater or you're targeted by energy weapons and you react by, uh, uh, I don't know, rolling yourself in a aluminum foil or something, uh, might work, might not work, but uh, the point is you've reacted. So they've charted that reaction. If you're in a mindful state and you're not reacting, you're just stationary there. You don't give them any data. And I've heard, I think this might have been from Brian too, that if you don't react to enough times, they lose interest in you. So that, that might be a hope for the future. But anyway, so the first practice we had logged in was this practice. And we got another one. Uh, regarding a, a chemical, but let's let's take you on a little a walk through the website. Uh, I guess it's a blog. I don't know the difference. 
uh, I'll, I'll admit. It's it's a couple. Of, there's a couple of parts here. I'd, I'd be letting uh, my com compañero Mindy tell you, yeah. compañera Mindy tell you, but she's lost her voice, and so I'm the only voice that you're going to hear right now. Anyway, uh, what she's showing you on the screen is the homepage, and that explains kind of why we're doing this. And, you know, it might change as we get through, you know, if we find that we're finding something or it would be um, profitable for us to move in a different direction, we can be we can be flexible. You know, we're not taking any government money. We're just trying to help. So you go to the home page and you'll see that there's uh, under the Pinecone Utopia portal words, there's research techniques, discussion about and contact. Well, uh, the discussion is going to contain these podcasts, my talking to you, and a look at uh, some of the people in the chat room. I see from some familiar faces all already. Uh, but anyway, let's go back to the let's go back to the portal. If you have, a, if you want to learn about the techniques that have that have been proven successful by a TI and he or she wants to share it with you, you'll go to the research tab and you can read about uh, what the open source investigation is. And then um, actually down here are the links to down here are the links to the different items. And because cool. when we use Google Chrome, we can't move, <laughs> we can't move around through the uh, pages. They're just, they're like uh, still shots here. Uh, so that's all you're going to see. Now, if you were to call on, we could show yours and you can move around. And we might set that up to do later. I might have somebody from the Techno Crime Fighters or, or somebody that I know from long time in my correspondence with TIs. Uh, we might do that. But anyway, it's an open source investigation. And you can read. It's not presented. Okay, now it is. Okay. Can I continue? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, what you what you can do is I've tried to get three things from each uh, source. I want to get the type of program you're in, like characterize how it started, what they seem to be putting you through. Of course, it's custom design, but uh, I know that uh, they like to use patterns. So. Uh, we might be able to uh, identify several different patterns. And this pattern of stalking might respond very well to what they're doing. So we're going to try to correlate the type of thing they're going through with the results they're getting uh, and the type of uh, solution they're using. Also, I'd like to find out how this has changed what the perps are doing to you. Are they uh, ratcheting it up, which I think they do at first? Are they uh, seem to be changing techniques? What are they doing to get your reaction when you're when you're in this this place where they can't get you? <laughs> I want to find that out too. And what I'd like to do at the end, after we get all these uh, it may not be an end. This might be an ongoing investigation. But at some point, I'd like to pull out uh, some of these things and with some of the brilliant people that are being targeted that are watching this and maybe the, uh, the techno crime fighters. I know uh, Dr. Catherine Horton will be a good one for this task to go through and see if we can create a hypothesis. That's an idea that we think is true. And then we'll try to set up research so we can prove or disprove the hypothesis. So that's that's a that's an aiming point. But I think if we keep the open source investigation open, I I don't think I don't think there's a finite number of these solutions. I think there's an infinite number. There's just there's as many solutions as there are people. So I think we can keep this thing open. And uh, that's anyway, that's about the research section. Let's move on to what's the next one? 
Next one is techniques. Techniques. Can you hear squeaking in the background? <laughs> Here we go, we're gonna try to do techniques. Okay, this is techniques. This is the one that has the light bulbs in it. Now, I know from my graduate work and research I've done that there are a lot of these techniques and they're, and they're not all in Eastern practices. Some of them are very Western, some of them are very Christian. Uh, it, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't really matter. And uh, what, what we're gonna house here are resources like what different techniques have you heard of have, have been used down through the years are using currently for maybe different purposes that we could try uh, there's a couple on there already i believe and on tuesday i'm going to be interviewing Oli damagard and he's got a type of yoga practice i don't think it might be called yoga, Raja yoga. he'll tell me then and uh, he'll tell, I don't think he's a targeted individual, but he'll tell me how to do it and how it's helped him. Um, and we'll have that under the techniques page so that you can listen to that and, and learn that techniques. Uh, that technique. There's a lot of different, we talked about on the forum, we talked about random acts of kindness, which uh, is a thing that humans should do anyway. Uh, stress on random, stress on kindness. Kindness is putting you in the high vibration that they don't like. And random seems to emanate from, you know, maybe you could call it your right brain. Maybe you could call it just your, your touch with universal consciousness, your spontaneity. So they don't like spontaneity and they don't like high vi vibration. So spontaneous uh, episodes of kindness, might be one technique we don't know we don't have anybody try it uh, by the way these techniques will generally take a while for you to get the hang of and become good enough at so that they really affect your targeting so you might have to practice for a while so don't throw your hands up and say i've tried this for three days and nothing's no keep using it put it aside for a while bring it back out because we really want to find out uh, truly what's going on with this so that's technique so if you are a ti and you don't have any kind of a idea on what you might do there might be some things here that appeal to you so uh, anyway so that's the techniques area as i said in the uh, discussion area we're just going to have these podcasts and i'm going to really make it so that i can read from the chat room and uh we can have a discussion that way. Or if one of you really wants to talk, and I, and I know you, I'll send you an invitation and you can just come on board and chat for a while. So uh, so that's all the information on the, on the Pinecone Utopia portal. Uh, I hope that we get a lot of, if, you, if you're using a practice and you want to send it to us so we can put it on the uh, research, angle that a tab uh, just send it to pinecone utopia portal at gmail.com pinecone utopia portal at gmail.com i wouldn't be surprised if it's not on the contact is it mm -hmm. it is you okay. can also go to the contact page to contact us with and you can also go to the contact pages, pages. okay right. looking right. over here at uh uh I thought today about finding the right love pieces. I've got one from a person I talked to today, actually, on the bed. She said, I thought today about finding the right love, peace, and happiness frequency and blasting it out from my house. Go, go head on. That's, uh, that's what one of the one person is using frequencies, and that's in the some some person I don't know what you can hear. Some people are using frequency. And you'll find it in the research page. The research page. So that's good. Uh, so also, singing when we were up here. Oh, there was a woman I talked to. Every once in a while, I'll. I'll uh, I really like to talk to uh, selected individuals because they're always fascinating, and they always appreciate my talking to them. So. Uh, 
called a woman and uh, we talked and uh, I was pretty convinced, pretty sure she was a real targeted individual. And her solution was love your perps. So I thought, oh my goodness gracious. It sounds like it would work because it would put you in the right vibration. But, you know, am I ready to tell TIs who've been tortured and uh, hurt hourly by these guys to turn around and, man, that's a big jump. But, you know, I'm going to talk to her this week and <laughs> well, maybe I'll have her come on and, uh, and talk about that with us. I, I, it's, it's hard for me to jump that way. One of the things that uh, gets me thinking about gratitude and love is uh, I have animals. I have these dogs that are barking in the background. And, uh, and I always, when I'm with them or when I, uh, well, I'm always pretty much in a state of love. They love me. I love them. And it really goes. So that, that really helps for me. Um, in, in that regard. See, Mike says, bless those that curse you. Bless those that curse you. We've got uh, God, let there be light. Wow, it's like a, it's like a revival meeting here. But, but I really do think that's the way out uh, of, the, of this situation. So vibration. The vibration thing? No, someone was telling you yeah, about that. Says, Try loving the perps didn't work as good as vibration. What do you mean? What do you mean by vibration? Can you say more? Yeah, can you? Uh, we're talking to someone on the line, and he said that vibrations love. work better than love, and uh, we're trying to get a handle on what he does for his vibration. That's really interesting. I'm not sure it's not the same thing, but apparently he can. This is jittery vibration. Did you read vibration? Jittery. Oh, jittery vibration. That's really interesting. Force the mind to make a jittery vibration. Well, I, I don't know how you do that. Okay, here's someone who says, I have haters in my neighborhood. I don't do much. But what I do, the old guy across the street runs out. He hates my dog. So we go out in the yard and play. She's well trained and fun. Yeah, there you go. Actually, <laughs> as simple as that is, I think that's pretty profound. She and her dog are in a happy state of consciousness. Her perp is over there not getting the right reaction. Uh, vibration is sound. Oh, so the jittery vibration could be a jittery sound, like, ah. Uh, does that sound right, Mike? Ah. Uh, we have the power of the spoken word. There you go. There's another thing. Actually, I had breakfast today with someone who was talking about shaping the world by shaping the words you use. And he was thinking of selecting them. You know, if you select the right words uh, that don't sabotage you or create the, create the wrong spell. Words or spells, exactly. Uh, that's what that's you learn in second grade. Did you never think about it? Yeah, they get bored if you don't react the way they want. But, you know, any reaction is, uh, they're going to chart it, unless I guess it's a high vibration reaction. God's words sound right to me. I have the authority to speak them words. That That's a great technique. Let's see if we can find out how they react to that one. Oh, I use Nordic music. I don't yeah, think music's I've, a big deal. Talk about music. Yeah, I've never heard uh, Nordic music, I don't think. And I'm, I'm really, uh, yeah, Nordic music. The only Nordic music I know are the Steven Seagulls, the Finnish group that play uh, country group. I don't know what that is. Um, we actually got involved. We went to a Pentecostal church and. Uh, I was studying glossolalia, which is a speaking in tongues. As far out as that is, I was really interested because I knew people that had gone to uh, Asia and been involved in it. And I was actually coaching someone who had a Pentecostal church and somehow the, uh, the subject comes up. You know, it, 
I know that you probably not sat around to talk to anybody and the subject of glossolalia has come up, but in my life it actually happened. So he was, uh, he wasn't a pastor of a church, he was like a manager of the church. And uh, he invited me to come to watch glossolalia. And uh, came to the church, we drove to Connecticut, we went into the church, and uh, it was it was a, a all black people. We were the only white faces in the church, and uh, we were going to send it back. Well, they weren't going to have that. They uh, brought us right up the middle. They gave us the best seats in the house, and they surrounded us. And it was a real nice feeling. Well, they did a lot of music in the church and the music was fantastic. They had a band on stage, uh, a guitar, a drum, and uh, they were singing and it was fantastic. And then all of a sudden, as natural as it could be, one woman started this uh, speaking in tongues. And it was, uh, it was an episode where we were all in a really high vibration there. And, uh, Oh, we thank everybody and everybody hugged at you the just end. You could feel the love in the room. Remember? You could feel the love in the room. It was with us for hours and hours after that. So but much gratitude. So much gratitude there. So that's one thing that, that we've experienced that we're, we're not TIs. Uh, we are normal people who are suffering through life, but uh, nothing like you guys are going through. Glossolalia, which, which is probably. I don't think that's how you, you it's well, one word. Mindy's going to try to spell it. Actually, she's a pretty good speller, so she might be able to come up with something that uh, actually could get you there. If you Google it, I'm sure. Oh, so you, you, you don't have any second A there. G -L -O -S -A -L -O -S -A. It's something like that. Um, maybe a couple more L's on the end, I'm not sure. I'm sure Google hasn't wiped all the valuable stuff out of that because I'm sure nobody Googles that, but you can learn a lot. It's interesting. And actually, while we were talking about it um, on Techno Crime Fighters, I think Karen said that she knows a lot about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, they even translate what's said during this glossolalia session, which is, uh, which is really interesting. You know, they would talk about that on the forum. Because they could listen. Yeah, they talks about that in the form of reform number 20. Also, you know, that's supposedly uh, the Oracle of Delphi, which was an ancient Greek uh, uh, person, actually. And uh, she would... Uh, do glossolalia and give her messages through glossolalia. And the people, there were people who worked for her or with her. She was like a divine figure. Did she float in water? Oh, well, that's another story. Oh. But that's, uh, and she would do glossolalia. That's, that's another instance. And then the people who would be around her would translate it. And apparently the Oracle of Adelphi, you know, that was the most uh, prized, uh, place to go to get your uh, information about the future. It, you know, they talk about it, uh, it's, it's, it's woven into the Matrix movies. You know, the Oracle of Delphi. And, That's right. and those things. It's interesting. I also heard that, uh, that, that that's irrelevant. Okay, well anyway, so that's what we came on to do. Oh, my perps can hear me. They're listening to this. Oh, yeah, they're listening. Some of the times they can see through your eyes. Something we're not. <clears throat> uh, I think I think the important thing about that is that you can get in a position, seeing them watch you. So. Oh, that's right. We want to know how they respond. The practices that are working. Well, what I was thinking okay. was that um, I think it's a good idea to try to one technique. This may sound crazy, but to try to you see yourself in the second person 
So it might be a good idea to, to journal and journal in the third person. Like if your name is Sally, you'd say, Sally got up late and she was in a really bad mood. She, uh, I don't know, dropped her toothpaste on the floor and it hit her shoe and it, whatever. And then she went into da da da. But talk about her in the second person. I think this will help you see the perps in that same second person drama. So you'll say, uh, Sally's perp decided to hit her with a full mega dose of microwave right in the right in the kneecap as she was bending down to get you know so that you're in a position of watching um, this drama unfold. I think that this practice, if you do it for a while, will give you space. This is going to sound crazy between you and your perps and you, the observer. And I think from that space, we can we can do more work. Okay, what do we have? Okay. Go to separate yourself from it. Yeah. Uh, always, they're always making comments like calling me a sinner. Oh, yeah, well, that's put that in. Put that in. The perp said that he thinks that I'm a sinner. Uh, you know. So. Rather talk to Jesus that way. Great, Mike. Yep, Jeannie. There would be, there would be a constant prayer. Prayer has got to be another one. That's got to be another one. If you get yourself in that state where you're connected, that's got to be another one. Meditation breathing technique. Meditation breathing. Well, there was a uh, there was a YouTube video that came out about maybe eighteen months, maybe two years ago, and I don't know whether you know Snordster. There's a guy named Snordster that's got probably the most beautiful voice I've ever heard. That's not just a beautiful voice; it's got like gravitas. I mean, when he says something, you know, it's really heavy. And he, and he, uh, he narrated this wonderful little piece on gratitude. And I think if you if you go uh, go to YouTube and do Snordster gratitude, I think you might be able to find this. We're going to try to find it this week and put it in techniques. But it's a beautiful piece, and of course, it's. His voice gets you totally, I mean, it's so serious and you're really in there. But he, he gave me the concept that gratitude isn't just a place. It's like an infinitely deep pool. And the more grateful you are, the more grateful you become and the more grateful things you find in that pool and you go deeper and deeper. And there's no, doesn't seem to be any limits. So it's a, it's a really cool little thing. And if, if, I know that being in gratitude puts you in a higher vibration. If that little video can help you get into that state of gratitude, it might be able to help you get a little bit of relief. That's what we're going for. Yeah. Getting grounded and sit at the base of a tree, feel the all, oh, feel the roots. This is this is this is mindfulness. Sit and rock, send your awareness into the bed. Oh, perfect. Uh, Targeting. Spending time in nature will make a huge difference. You have to repeat what I say. Yes, yeah, spending right. time in nature will make a huge business. You can hear scratching it out here in the background. That's targeting bringing me closer to God, but does put you in a passive aggressive state sometimes, reacting sometimes not. Yeah, yeah. And the, I want you to invite people to write down what what they're saying in the chat room because that disappears and we have no way to catch oh, yeah. it and send it into us in emails. Get, write down what you're saying in the, chat, in the chat room and send it to us uh, so we have a record of this because this this disappears as soon as we go off. Another computer, sometimes we can capture it, but what we're trying to do is, is train me to be able to do this. We'll probably skip next week, but... Uh, uh, I hope this is fun for all 23 of you sitting out there. Sorry, you're extremely close to God. The most perpetrators 
or lower class with no higher education. Well, you know, there's the first step to seeing your perpetrators as people who probably are less uh, educated. Uh, I think selected people are, they're selected for a reason. They have something to offer. And it's horrible how they're extracting it. But they have something to offer. They have something to contribute to this monster conscious computer that they're creating. Love to get down and technical with them. It stops. Oh, cool. Hey, how do you get down and technical with them? Do you, uh, maybe we can go on. Can you screenshot the comments as they come up? How do you, let's see. Well, we, screenshot. you'd have to do it about every Right, because you can only see like six at a time. Yeah, trees can be seen as nervous system. I also think it's probably it's probably the real symbol of the divine. You know, there's a whole bunch of symbols, but probably a live tree is probably closer to what the divine would uh, appreciate. Can you screenshot? Okay. BT Wolfos, I need help. Pinecone with gather. I will help Pinecone. Oh, great. BT. Uh, I like the video you've done. I've learned things here. I'm thankful for the hard work you guys put into this channel. Well, yeah. Mike, we love you. Don't That's why we're doing it. Remember, stuff. some of us were targeted as child. Absolutely. Absolutely. Targeted as ch children first. Actually, how we got into this was covering uh, the Hampstead cover up and uh, satanic child abuse. So I'm well familiar that a lot of you are. A lot of you are. Uh, well born, born to the, uh, uh, the the elite class, and uh, you know the elites love to uh, make their children like they are, so they they get abused, and sometimes they can break, and when they do, boy, they're they're really watched because they could do the elite some damage, I believe. Okay, Janice, good. Oh, that's great. Great. Janice, yeah, Janice is going to screenshot. It's been four years to get to know them. That's nice. Oh, that's fantastic. Good. That'll help. What? She's going to capture it and send it to us. Yeah, what about the four years? Oh. They selected us in school with all the special testing and so forth. Yeah. And actually, they've got, they're perfecting that, uh, that selection. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn into, we're going to show them how humans really react. But no one do I seem to survive more. Well, uh, it's, it's a whole new ball game now since they're not behind the curtain anymore. This is a whole new ball game. Targets, targets aren't sitting out there by themselves. Uh, targets, no, there's a lot of other targets. There's a lot written uh, about these programs. It's just the, the sleeping CNN watchers that uh, have a long time before they'll wake up. But there's a lot of people now, and we're trying to do something. How old were you? This is awesome. Exercise help, walking. Learning new instruments, learning language, instrument. yeah. Yep, and a new language. Yeah, because you're using a different part of your brain that they can't map. That might be great, yeah. The instrument, uh, under 10, but 10 was my first missing time at all. Mm. Wow. Electroconvulsive therapy. What do you mean, shaman? Electroconvulsive therapy. Sane man. Sane man. Sane man. Yeah. Read to exercise your brain. What about like if you're right-handed writing with your left hand? Yeah, you can try to break up. I don't know what that's for. Uh, you know, like use your left hand rather than your right hand if you're right-handed, and you know, try to get things that. Uh, Break your patterns because 
they want I think your value, one of your values to them is your patterns. I think that the hive mind I would I would speculate that the, I'm I'm speculating that the hive mind might be using your uh, brains to to copy. And uh, we don't want to give them uh, any information. So so I like um, mindfulness, uh, breathing techniques. Maybe Qigong. Uh, Qigong. I don't know what you know about that, but it's another focused mind technique. And it also, there's, there's another, Qigong is where you focus your brain on the energy that's being generated uh, mostly from the palms of your hands. And if you, if you scrub your hands together, like I'm doing, if you can hear that, maybe, and then you hold your hands about an inch apart, and you pull it in and out, in and out, you can uh, feel a little ball of energy growing in there. And that energy can be used, uh, you can stretch it, you can put it in other parts of your body, like you can put it on your head and uh, stimulate your brain. But what it is, it's, uh, it's your life force. It's like the force. And uh, there's probably a lot better way to describe this, but it's real energy. And actually, they've used it in, I've seen them use it in martial arts where they push somebody away by not even touching them, by using this force. And I've seen it used to heal, too. And I don't know why uh, we couldn't use this against perps. If, I mean, you'd have to get adept at it. You'd have to practice. But there's plenty of people out there teaching uh, Qigong. And uh, we've used it for certain things. I've used it to, uh, if you do uh, create a little ball between your hands, and then you can sit and put it over your eyes. Uh, it's been known to cure a lot of eye problems because it gives your eyes the extra energy that it needs to go go about mending things and putting putting things back right. There's actually uh, websites, not websites. There's articles on Google that'll tell you how to use Qigong for uh, curing your blindness. Uh, I believe my sister's using it for her. Her eye problems. Welcome. Yeah. So anyway, that's another thing. That's, what are we doing over here in the chat? Dancing. Absolutely dancing. Dancing. Yeah. That'd be a good one. Oh, tell them about Takatina. Okay, I'm going to tell you about Takatina, which I've never... We, we went to a meeting that did this Takatina, but we... Takatina. But we were not ever able to find anything about it because we wanted to learn to do it. Uh, it's like a, uh, it, uh, this is how I remember it. There's people around in a circle and they have various, they might have drums, they might have sticks, they might have, or, or they might have, woman clapping, slapping. Oh yeah, she, okay. Yeah. Back, erase all that stuff about the instruments. She remembers it more accurately than I did. You use your hands to clap or fingers to clack. And you could pound on your right. feet. Go to the left. You can you move to your feet. Head. So you what what head. they do is they start you walking around, and then like every third beat you clap, 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 and then they'd have you every fourth beat stomp your right foot. So three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and what they did is they add different things to do uh, as, you as you go so that you had to totally be concentrating on this uh, to do it. And then, of course, you know, we're, we're not talented, so we screw up and laugh. And laughter is good. But uh, it's, taka, it's like Takatina. T-A-K. What do you think? T-A-K-E. T I N A, and I've never been able to find anything on it. And uh, maybe it's gone away. Maybe it was a person's practice and he stopped doing it. But uh, somebody should go out there and revive it if it is gone. Because it was really a way to get yourself totally out of your mind. 
Indian powwow does the trick too. Hey, that's good. Yeah, like a drumming circle. Yeah, a drumming circle could mm -hmm. do it. Uh, there were chanting. Now, anytime you use a uh, a mind altering thing, I think you're you might be opening yourself to uh, other other negative forces. So you have to strongly intend to push them away and uh, not be incorporated with them. And staying in a high vibration will do that. Or just to surround yourself with protection. Right, to surround yourself with protection, surround yourself with love uh, and, and attention. So, but don't be afraid, just be cautious. Is that, is that uh, mutually exclusive? Uh, Say walking meditation. Yeah, walking meditation. I've done that. Yeah, alternate state of consciousness. Yeah, and use it. Yeah. How about reading ancient texts or, you know, koans or some of this stuff? Oh, there's a thing. Well, I'm not sure about ancient texts yet. Uh, reading ancient texts and uh, trying to get into it. I think that the... Uh, Bible would qualify. We like to use, uh, well, maybe, maybe that's that's the latest. Uh, okay. We like to use uh, uh, books by Lao Tzu. Uh, Rumi is a good is a poet. Uh, also, Hes Hefis mm -hmm. is another poet, and they, you know, they they're small little like verses. And if you can get into it and think about them, they all are written from a very high vibrational level and they might help you do that i think another thing that i've i've been suggesting since the beginning zen buddhism buddhism has this thing called koans i think it's spelled k-o-a-n koans k-o-a-n-s and it's a uh, it's like a little statement that includes like contradictory ideas that can't that that your mind can't get 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 itself around. You know, you contemplate these things, and you just get into um, trying to let go of your logical understanding them, and and embracing what they are. And that's a, that's a simplistic explanation of it. It's an incredibly deep practice, and. Uh, these koans, if you can come across them, are absolutely fascinating. And they've been used down through the centuries for uh, Zen Buddhists to try to get out of there. What was the type of meditation, Mindy, that, uh, that involved the saying of things over and over again? There was a separate kind of... Uh, Mantras. It was like a mantra. I'm trying to think uh, the... Uh, I, I can't. I can't remember. But you did, there was a certain uh, chanting thing that you did, um, and I can remember the story behind it. Uh, Buddha was with his. It was called Meta. That's what it's called now. And I'm not even sure I could. I could even demonstrate it. But it was. It was supposedly given to uh, some monks, some uh, Buddhists monks, when Buddha had to go away from them, um, and uh, Buddha. They were going to be frightened because they were in the woods. He said, "Just do this," and it was like a little chanting. And it's a uh, boy. I can't even start it. I, I lost it totally. It's like Continue. a phrase, like three or four sentences, like "May all people be healthy." May all people. May all be healthy. healthy. You yeah. start with you, and then you expand. Oh, that's right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, it's called meta meditation. You might be able to find something online that will. I think I can just give you a lot of really misinformation on that one, but I, I can suggest it if you want to try it. Text, Buddha teachings are wonderful. Any Eastern philosophy is good. Right. Yeah. I think that... Uh, I think you should address B.T. Wilcox over here. Hang on, Doc. Don't use King Gong. Qigong. Qigong as an attack with harsh... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's great. Only defend, dude. That's good. Yeah. Actually, when the person was... Supposed to, uh, first teaching us about that. They told us about that. Uh, uh, that be cautious around the heart because it's very strong. Right. 
and you use that for healing. I mean, you've been healed yourself with Qigong energy yeah. healing. So yeah, it's, it's good. It's good for energy healing. I think that this uh, uh, we have enough uh, duality here uh, with uh, the perks and us and the Russians and uh, you know that we, we're we're so immersed in duality. We don't need to be attacking people. Uh, we need to be um, just climbing out of the climbing out of the maze, climbing out of the uh, matrix. Uh, for that. Okay, well, I, I didn't have any uh, particular uh, agenda here tonight. Just wanted to have our first get together. I'm not sure we'll do this next week because uh, Mindy won't be here at all. And unless I can figure out how to do this thing myself, um, we won't be doing it. But uh, certainly the following week, and if Sunday's great, uh, let us know. And uh, so what I'm going to do is sign off. Hey, thank you, people in the chat room. It's really cool to be, like, actually talking to you and not just on uh, on email. It's really nice to see. It's like it's like having you here. And maybe if you want to come. Uh, yeah, what you want to do is invite people uh, in to um, share their ideas with us. And if they want to come on and actually talk with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, what we can do is we can invite you to come on and, and talk if you want to. Uh, and just uh, suggest that we do it and uh, send us your email address. You, you have to have a you have to have an up to date Google Chrome browser, and you have to have a Gmail account. And then we can patch you through. As uh, right. and as, most importantly, send us all your research. Yeah, most importantly, send us all your research. We can and, start sharing uh, it and then get feedback from other people, what works. Yeah. Okay. Hey, it's been lovely. Thank you very much for doing this with us. We've had fun. And have a very good night. We love you. Bye-bye.